Climate change in the Pacific can be highly contentious and political. I had the opportunity to talk with Brave Van Day, coordinator of Kiribati Children's Campaigners Network, KCCN, about Kiribati's current situation and how climate change action can be improved in Kiribati. Okay, so my name is uh, Ray Pintes from uh, Kiribati in the South Pacific. I work for the Kiribati Children Campaigners Network, but currently I'm doing some studies here in New Zealand. The Kiribati Children Campaigners Network is a youth-led NGO back home that works with uh, marginalized and disengaged uh, young people. And um, we, we do mostly advocacy work around climate change, anti-corruption, uh, using music and dances oh, okay. to, uh, you know, to, to send out the message to the people. We also feel that young people, they have their own solutions. I mean, the solutions are within them. So uh, what we, we encourage is uh, we want them to feel part of the solution rather than the problem. Yeah, so Kiribati at the moment has been very uh, verbal about climate change, and uh, we've seen a lot of uh, uh, a lot of awareness going on at the national level, uh, and also getting out to community uh, grassroots levels. Uh, what we have seen too in the past is we've been receiving a lot of uh, climate change tourists coming into the country to you know to take as many information as they could from especially those uh, badly affected communities and uh, we've, we've noticed that uh, especially where, uh, where communities have been badly hit or where the tide usually comes comes up and destroy homes and you know in uh, inundates the water the water wells and uh, nothing has been done so far. Because most of the fam most of the most of the households in Kiribati do not have rainwater tanks, so you know these are issues that uh, we feel the people are still are not ready. You know, mm. and they're not ready uh, because most of these projects uh, is not enough to address. You know, the in the need that we had uh, the Prince of Morocco visiting Kiribati. And putting in, you know, rainwater tanks. Mm. But the question is, uh, you know, to all these climate talks that there's been ongoing, and the politics, the politics within, you know, the climate mm. change yeah. talks, uh, we've noticed a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of pulling, pulling between these, especially superpower, you know, superpower, superpower countries, because they have the responsibility, the responsibility to you know, to uh, provide these climate change funds uh, because uh, to look at countries like the Pacific uh, and for us, uh, micro, micro states like Kiribati, Marshall Islands, Tuvalu, uh, we barely contribute like maybe 1% to, to global, to green, you know. Whenever there is a tsunami, warning that comes to Kiribati. People are seen climbing coconut trees and breadfruit trees. Yeah. You know, just something. You know, something that will kill them if they fall off, fall off the tree. Or, yeah. You know, so to have a simple evacuation center, or maybe a, you know, somewhere safe. Yeah. People say tsunami doesn't come to Kiribati because the the oceans are very wide. It would it would kill you know the strength yeah. of the waves when it travels. Have a look at Stockholm Pam when uh, two, two of the most southern islands in Kiribati had uh, mini mini tsunamis that came up like uh, uh, two meters, you know, mm -hmm. two to three meters. I say that's big. I mean, uh, people have had to relocate to move to move, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, climate actions and. Uh, people's resilience to face these disasters. At the moment, we don't have that. Yeah. And, you know, if we are to improve climate action 
improvement is to be focused on adaptation, you know? Yeah. How, how can we adapt? How can we adapt to the impacts? Yeah. And uh, with current scientific projections, uh, because people, uh, people are not seeing migration or, you know, uh, relocation is an option, yeah. even though the previous government has warp lands, uh, you know, yeah. people people wanted to remain in the country because they have so much, uh, you know, yeah. ties to their land, to their ancestors. And, yeah. and if displacement is, isn't going to be an option, I think climate action, uh, tangible, tangible elections needs to be focused uh, be focused on the people.